we're seeing more and more carriers start to adapt technology to evolve uh, and enhance their process uh, as, as they go forward. I think that we're still um, probably two or three years out before we see rapid change in the utilization of all of the technologies that are out there like robotic process automation, um, natural language processing, things like that, which uh, you know clearly as, as insurers adapt those that efficiencies will, will be uh, much more uh, rapidly uh, gained. Um, is going to take really some collaboration and the collaboration I think starts with the users that are sharing information that blockchain would facilitate um, that transaction uh, very effectively and efficiently um, and, and I think that uh, you know these these groups um, as they come together and we call those consortiums um, you know they need to start off smaller and I think if they do, and you get, as an example, an MGA, an insurer, and a reinsurer together um, that are willing to kind of step off the curb, I think they can rapidly see how blockchain can change um, the, the, the really the dynamic uh, between the three based on the, the information that they're sharing, which ultimately creates efficiency and will drive expense savings to them uh, very rapidly. Um, technology is rapidly evolving today um, and, and the impact that it will have on uh, the people. And I would tie that in really to the demographic change. You know, now we're, we're talking about buyers that are really um, uh, millennials and Gen Zs that are now coming in and influencing things. And I, and I think that their experience uh, through the utilization of dis different technologies um, and their expectations of how those work with respects to buying insurance are, are rapidly different than, you know, going back to kind of, you know, 25 years ago where, you know, our expectation was a human interaction, um, a conversation much like this, um, which kind of drove what my needs were and, and, and what types of coverages I needed to, you know, insure my assets. It's not like a once and done, it's a, it's a continuous journey. So as you know, technologies continue to evolve, we want to continue to evolve with them so that our customers can always benefit from, uh, from those advancements. So um, I, I think a, a good example of how um, 4IR and, and, and the in evolution of technology when we think about it from an end-to-end -end process, from the time in which an insurer would interact with either an agent or direct with you know, a carrier in the placement of their insurance needs, um, I think you know, has, has evolved tremendously. You know, there's, there's such an ease of use today that's um, available through the right utilization of technology for the customer, that that experience has changed dynamically and so one might ask, what does that efficiency mean, right? Does it mean just the insurer gets the benefit of, of, of a better margin? I, I really don't think so because I think that what insurance companies realize is that as their, as their margins get better, their expenses get reduced, they have the ability then to pass that back on to their policyholders, which means that they can offer a, a, either a broader coverage at a more reasonable price um, and, and, and really it becomes this full circle where everybody's benefiting from, from that advent.